Currently, you're working on a large roadway widening project. There are a few environmental issues that you've noticed and would like to document. Fortunately, the Tasks tool in Plan Grid allows you to simply and easily note these issues and track them until they are resolved, and it only takes a few clicks to do it. To begin, you can get to the Tasks tool using one of two ways. You can either go directly to the plan sheet where the issue is and select the Tasks tool from the Markup pane, or you can select the Tasks tab from the Navigation toolbar in the main project view. It's important to note here, when choosing the option of going to the individual plan sheet to create a task, you're creating it at the sheet level, which helps to ensure that it's clearly associated with a specific sheet. If you create it using the navigation toolbar on the main project page, it will not be automatically tagged to a specific plan sheet. So for this example, you will go directly to the plan sheet, you will select the desired sheet, and then select Tasks from the Markup Toolbar located on the right-hand side of the screen. The pop-up menu that appears will contain a variety of different options or stamps that have been preloaded for you to choose from. In this case, you want to note a downed silt fence that is filled up with sediment along the edge of the project. So you'll select the ES stamp for Erosion and Sediment Control. Note that the color of the stamp is determined by whatever color is active at the time you select the stamp, but can be changed just like all other markups. Your project team can set standards for what colors to use where. If the preloaded stamps do not meet your needs, customized task stamps can also be added. Please check with your project admin if this is a need. Next, select the place on the sheet where you would like to place the stamp. Once you've placed the stamp in the right place on the sheet, a pop-up window appears so that you can fill in the details for this particular stamp. So, in this case, you'll add the title, Repair, Clean Out Silt Fence. The status will be left as open, but note, if you select this field, you also have the option to set it as In Review, Pending, and Closed. You can use these statuses to quickly indicate where these issues are in the path to resolution. Once the issue or issues have been resolved, you can change the status to closed. This will turn off notifications for the stamp, but the information will remain in the project record should you need it later. Please note, these are only suggested best practices, but your project team should decide on a standardized way to handle tasks. For task type, there are three options, issue, planned work, and other. For the purposes of this example, we'll leave it at issue. The next option is assign task, or in essence, who needs to take care of this and ensure it's completed. Tasks can be assigned to anyone on a project with a plan grid license, including other inspectors. So if you select this option, you can then select from the people that are already assigned to this project. From here, they'll be able to view the task and update the associated details in this pop-up window as progress is made. Please note, you can assign up to two people per task. You can also select Watching and Add Others on the project to notify them about the creation of the task and associated details. So for example, if you want your construction manager or area construction engineer to know what's going on with this issue, you can select them from the list to watch the task. They will now receive updates in their notification center about the task, but won't have the ability to update the stamp. The next option in the pop-up window is Location. This is a freeform entry that can be populated with a station number or other reference point to help remind you where it is. The next two choices in the pop-up window are Start Date and Due Date. So for the purposes of this example, let's say that the start day is today. And because you're expecting a heavy rainstorm in three days, the project team needs to make sure it's resolved by then. So you would add the due date in here that's two days from today's date. This is a helpful option because if the person you've assigned this to does not resolve the issue by the due date, they'll receive email reminders about it. You can also set the start date for a future date if you need to. The next option is to add it to a list if desired. Task lists are a way of organizing all of the tasks being tracked on a particular project. If a list had already been created for this project, you can select it from the list of available options. In this case, you'll add the task to the list entitled Environmental. 
Please note here that similar to custom stamps, your project admin does have the ability to create custom lists. The next option is to add any text that you like for the description. So you'll add here, per erosion and sediment control plan, silt fence needs to be repaired and accumulated sediment needs to be excavated prior to expected rainstorm to prevent runoff into waterway to help communicate with people what's going on in that particular spot. It's also important to add a picture to the task before publishing. This will provide a good visual representation of the issue we need corrected. Just like in the progress photo tool, you can either take a picture or add one from the camera roll. In this case, you're going to take a picture of the silt fence. At this point, you can select Publish to publish the stamp and its details to the project's plan sheet.